The options reviewed in this tutorial cover the most popular customization features and are meant to guide you through the process of creating your own unique promo pages. Today we'll be looking at promo sets, but the same logic applies to standalone promo pages. Let's get started. Click the pencil to edit your promo set. Here you can change the design layout selection and control various aspects of the design. Let's first look at the Versailles design, which works with promo sets, and then we'll take a look at Golden Gate, which can be used as a promo set or a standalone promo page with just one image. With the Versailles design, you can customize the overall background color, background image, background thumbnail color, thumbnail width and spacing, brand, description text, links, and navigation buttons. Back in Promo Set Properties, we'll work first with layout colors and attributes. To change the background color, click on the paint bucket icon, make your color selection, and click Submit. Other color settings use the same type of color picker. For a truly unique look, you can add a background image. To do so, make sure that you've already uploaded an image to supporting files. Under the image, click on the link icon, then copy the URL that appears. Go back to the Promo Set Properties and paste the URL in the Background Image field. Now preview. If you'll be adding standard links like a link back to your portfolio site or social media icons, you can control the color of those icons with the side button color set. The next group deals with thumbnail appearance. You can control the thumbnail background color, the size of the thumbnail and the spacing between thumbnails. Right now, I'll change the color from white to black increase thumbnail size, and decrease the spacing between thumbnails. The next four fields control font appearance in two places, the description for the promo set itself, and the descriptions you can enter for individual images which appear here. You can control the color, font choice, weight, and size. The last option allows you to turn off the side navigation arrows for large images, the brand appears by default at the top left corner of the promo set. You can change the color, as well as the font and size. If you don't want to display a brand, just uncheck this box to remove it. You can also customize the page address for your promo set. Your domain name will always appear first, then slash link, and then your own word choice. The font for the description text can be adjusted separately here. The next section allows you to control your link icons. Whether you use this section or not will depend on your end goal for the promo set you're creating. If you're just sharing a group of images with one person, you may want to skip this step. If you want to give your page a chance to go viral, you'll want to utilize a number of these features. Now let's look at the Golden Gate design. Golden Gate promo sets are perfect for displaying slideshows. Under Layout Colors and Attributes, you'll notice that the feature set is different for this design, but some common controls are here, such as background color, and tools to control the description text, allowing you full control over font color, font choice, and size. Now let's explore some of the other customization options for this design. Logo Position controls the position of your branding text on the page. The default value is 5%. Use a larger percentage number to move your brand to the right. The next group deals with the navigation style for the promo set. The default setting is for the most minimalist presentation. Any options here are additive. If you check the box next to Show Bottom Navigation Bar, a navigation bar appears at the bottom of the promo page like this. Check the box next to Show Side Arrow Buttons and Side Arrow Buttons appear. The navigation background setting applies if you have the Show Bottom Navigation Bar box checked. You can enter one or two. One looks like this, two looks like this. Control the navigation text color here. If you want thumbnails to display, select thumbnail navigation. If you want to give your site visitors an idea of the loading time for each image, select the time bar box. The next 14 controls all deal with the presentation of the menu box on the page. The default width is set to 250 pixels, but you can make it bigger by overriding the default. Menu background color changes the color of the description box. Menu background color 2 changes the color of the minimize info panel box. Control the menu corner radius. 
The larger you make this value, the more rounded the corners of the description box will be. Control Menu Transparency. The larger you make this value, the more opaque the description box will be. We'll come back to Menu Button Color Set in a minute. Pop-up Text Color applies to the text in the Minimize Info Panel box. Menu Top Position will accept any value, but we suggest using a setting between 15 and 40. The larger the value, the lower the menu panel will publish on the page. Menu Left Position works the same way. The larger the value, the more the menu will move to the right. If you check the Auto Minimize box, the menu will automatically minimize to the corner of the page after a few seconds. Description color, font, and size all apply to the text here. The next group of tools controls image presentation. Slideshow on is checked by default. If you uncheck this box, the promo page will only show the main image of the promo set. If you uncheck autoplay, the images can only be advanced manually. Here you can change the speed of the slideshow. There are seven options for transition type. Here are a few. The default option is Fade. Image links open in New Window Slash Tab. We recommend you keep this one checked. We'll look at image links in a minute. If you check Pause Slideshow on Hover, the slideshow will pause when your mouse is over an image. Checking Disables Image Dragging and Right Click with JavaScript may help prevent visitors from saving your images. The last five settings here let you adjust the way your images scale. By default, the images are set to fill the screen. You might experiment with the Fit Always setting. This prevents any cropping of the image and puts in margins as needed. The color of the margins is controlled in the background setting. The brand settings work the same way in Golden Gate as they do in the Versailles design. So do the web page address and description. The same link options are available. Any options you check here will put icons at the side of the description box. You can change the color of these icons using Menu Button Color Set. Choose from 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. The options reviewed in this tutorial are meant to guide you through the process of creating your own unique promo pages. As we add new options and designs in the future, many of the same principles will apply so this tutorial will help you as you explore promo pages. If you have any questions, we invite you to contact us by email at info at foliolink.com or by phone at 1-877-863-6546.